Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up RAID 1 on Windows 10. Now this is also called mirroring, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Disk Management. Okay, now that we're in disk management, you can see we have two disks or hard drives that we're going to be using. So one of them is disk 1 and the other one's disk 2. So uh, this, these are the exact same hard drives I, I used for the RAID uh, 0 uh, video. So uh, just like last time, we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to go ahead and delete volume. Uh, delete this volume will erase all data on it, back up any about data, yeah, okay. And we're gonna also gonna do this on disk two, so hit yes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and convert to dynamic disk, and we're gonna select disk one and disk two, click okay. There we go, they changed to dynamic. So now let's right click, and we wanna do mirrored volume. Okay, this was wizard will pop up. We'll hit next. Uh, disk one is selected. We're going to hit add disk two. Next, uh, yeah, drag letter F. NTFS, and we'll do RAID one. Perform a quick format. Next, and finish. go so we have raid one on the F drive so okay so let's go ahead and take a look and there we go as you can see we have raid one set up now uh, the differences between RAID 0 and RAID 1 is RAID 0, we basically grabbed the two drives and we made one big drive. Now with RAID 1, we have the two drives, but it's actually only showing up as one. So what, well, what's going on is the two drives are basically mirrored. So as soon as you start moving data in, the data gets copied to disk 1, and then it also gets copied to disk 2. So let's say if disk one fails that's fine because all the data is still in disks disk two so you can actually grab all of your files and anything that you know you, you thought you lost well i hope you enjoyed my video and like always we'll see you on the next one